Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to XCOM. We are heading to India in attempts to get six scientists, which will really help our research. This is the crew that we're taking out. We are taking the arc thrower just, you know, basically for weapons. If things get... If things are convenient, that's when we will uh, try an arc thrower attempt. If it If it's not convenient, I'm not going to risk it since it's not really a huge benefit right now anyways. I'm basically collecting weapons, especially light plasma rifles, in the hopes that eventually another country like wants to pay me for them. Because typically I don't even get light plasma rifles. I go straight to like plasma full-size rifles. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Okay. Operation Devil's Moon. We're still picking up transmissions indicating alien movement in one of their major city centers. We know the layout of this map fairly well. By we, I mean myself and you guys. We've seen this a few times. Don't think I don't know. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Yeah. Okay. So there's a meld canister which is in the same location uh, as it seems to always be. And then the other one's off in the distance somewhere. What I am going to do is bring our sniper up to the roof right away. Should be clear. And then we should position our heavies in similar... F well... That's a good question. I don't know. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring our mech up top. Let's go to around the same spot. To I don't really want to find anything up there if I don't have to. And then I think the other guys will just head inside. On the move. Hill's probably going to be the ideal candidate to, to try and grab the, uh, the meld canister. Okay, so I think this trail is probably just leading to that meld canister. Let's, uh, let's head inside. See if we have a decent way of getting over here. We can't quite get to it. Perhaps because Going there now. Zhang is in the way. Wouldn't surprise me. We got four turns. We gotta get it. I'm gonna dash here, which will keep me out of sight from anything that's potentially out move. there. Hopefully. Eee. Now I should be able to grab it next time. I may even actually position a heavy over here so that we have rockets for this side. Well, you know what? Actually, let's just go. Let's go inside. And with man, I'm thinking full cover here is probably good. And now for our crew up top. I kind of. I. I'm almost just. Wanting to leave these guys here for right now. See if we can grab the meld without too much going on. And then we can react if necessary. Oh, okay. That's actually not too bad. If they stay right where they are, it's not terrible. Let's see. Let's bring Jackie over. Make a target of ourselves. And if we can take the... F oh, the flying one is... Quite a bit less, though. We could use a rocket, potentially. We have a, we have a great chance to use a rocket here, actually. And if I go... No, I can't go higher. If we can get these three and that... I'm hoping we can get that flying one by blowing up the the gas tank. 
Let's see if we can't take down the flying one with a 61% chance. You never know. Close. Very close. And now I'm tempted to say, well, maybe we should just try and... The, the thing I'm worried about, though, is setting off, like, another group. We have a pretty isolated group here. This should be okay. Nice. So now we still have the rocket available if we want to... ...take these guys down. We do have a shot. Might as well take it. Not even close. Can't really be surprised. Take two rapid fires. There's one. Nice! Oh, that's awesome. Well, now it's kind of questioning, like, do I even want to use a rocket? What am I- I only have two shots left, so... I don't have Bullet Swarm available. If we could take him out, we could get a nice critical here. It's possible. No, 0% crit. Jesus. We're hitting pretty nicely, actually. I just don't know. Oh, this is kind of a tough call. Do I use the rocket? He's going to have a nice shot, though, at Shirley. But you know what? He might actually shoot at the mech. They tend to get drawn towards the mech. Okay. Let's see. 64. Come on now. Come on, Julia. Commander, oh! It would oh! Be if we oh, we already got it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Minor freak out for nothing. Oh, yeah, see? That's good. What's interesting is he didn't even move. He just stayed in full cover. He's like, I'm going down anyways. Does it really matter? Uh, who do we want to get the kill here? It'd be kind of cool if we could capture him, but that's not going to happen. Let's see. Zhang could use it. Konin. I mean, we could work at just maxing out our sniper. Let's do that. Now. Whoa. Where the hell is... Okay. That was not intentional. <laughs> Back online. Headed there now. I'll take a turn to reload Back everybody online. here. Okay. And then we can head out. Uh, we do have med kits, so actually... What I might do is get Shirley to come up here, use the medkit next time. Moving on target location. Then Jane can reload. Here you go. Four on, HP you back. back in the fight ASAP. I'm on it. Scanning. Reloading. We'll bring up Rod and just reload him. And then Janitor, we could probably keep back here. I mean, we. my next target for him is probably up on this rooftop. I would just like to find out where these guys are first. So that I know if I want to move him to an edge or not, so that he has a shot available on the following turn. I'm on the move. I do not like using uh, gas pumps as cover, for obvious reasons. But let's have Conine go all the way up here. He can just kind of stand in the middle, he should be safe. There we go. Frost can come down to the middle. I don't really want to progress too much farther than where we're already at. Reloaded. Zhang, you come out as well. And man, grab that. 
Got it covered. I gotta remember, Maluka is very sensitive. Like, she only has four health. And, uh, Zhang has ten. It's quite a difference. Oh, hello. What? Oh, that is actually kind of great if, if they if they stay there. Can I get a shot back there? It looks like I can. I think I'm going to take this. I'm not going to get too many chances where I have three sectoids just sitting there. Beautiful. So they must have tread like just to the very edge of where somebody would be able to find them. Let's, uh, let's grab the edge here with Conine. All seems well over here. Moving. We're gonna bring Zhang up. As you wish. And Festivus. On my way. To match Shirley. And I think I'm just gonna dash Man in here because... He's not really doing a whole lot back there. I'm loving this spot. That gives us a lot of vision. Minus if somebody happened to stand behind the billboard. But there's also trucks back there, so even if we were on this side, the truck is probably blocking more of the view. There's the other meld. Hello. I would like to get to you, please. Let's see what Jackie finds. Canister location confirmed. God, only three turns. That's not great. Okay. I'm gonna bring Zhang up here. It should be okay. Understood. Full Moving cover, up. and that way he's got rockets available next turn. Surely, do I want to run in here? I could go to the truck. Or I could go to this truck, which is probably safer. Let's do that. Oh! Nice. Okay. So we can grab it. Okay. I'm sure we're still going to run into something soon. And I'm bringing man up here so that if we can snag an arc throw somehow. Where the hell are these guys? Are they in the truck or behind the truck? I don't know. I'm gonna grab the meld. Here they come. Whoa! Why don't they disperse? It's been secured. This map has been very strange. I think what I might do... How much is the shredder doing? Four... Six... Oh, right, it was our other heavy that was dishing out the additional damage. Um... Let's see, how can we best handle this? I think maybe drawing them out might be better. I'm gonna pull back here. And then we'll overwatch, overwatch. We'll get like right close here. So if they come around the corner, very good chance of them not surviving. And then we could use Zhang's power as well. So let's keep him there. And Maluka, we're gonna move into full cover. And then we've got Conine still available for a full overwatch. So let's see if they come at us. There's one. The billboard's blocking the shot from Conine, I think. Damn it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Not having a lot of luck with the overwatches just yet. Well, there we go. We all shot at the same dude. And finally... He's down. Mrs. Pink takes him down. 
Come on, Conine. This could be magical. Probably not going to get it all, though. Oh, God. So close. He's very close to Jackie, so... That'll work in our favor. Oh, he's moving again. And he's actually moving into, like, a perfect position for us. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Whoa! What the shit? <laughs> I don't know what is happening, but this is so bizarre. Uh, I am going to try and stun this guy, I think. I'm also... I should be able to take a shot at this guy. I'm in his little circle. And then... Jackie can... I don't think... I don't think Jackie can punch him, I think, because he's flying. These guys over here is what I'm really worried about. But we have a rocket we could use over there. This will be interesting. Alright. Let's see if the stun works out for us. Beautiful. And then... Let's get, like, right... Let's get okay. right there. Oh, I can, maybe. Yeah, see, I don't think so. It's weird that it lets me do that. I think it's just that I can blow up the cover. 90%, though. Come on. Oh! That's a bit of an issue. This should be your free shot. That'll work. And then we can even... Oh, wait. Oh, I had a feeling that might happen. So because he's floating, we don't get that benefit from being close to him. That is kind of misleading, but... I get it. Alright, we're gonna rocket these dudes. Where Where's the other one, though? I'm sure they're both there. Are they not? I think they are. With pleasure. Come on, Jang. Seek him out. There we go. Now, what options do we have, though, for this guy? 64%. If I go here, I could easily get flanked. We do still have Konin, who has... He has a pretty good amount of damage with his pistol, so I think we're going to move him in. And between these two, I think we could probably... Oh, no! Really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, hopefully Maluka could take it down. Nice. And a promotion, that works Another out great. Boom! Work, Operation Devil's Mood. Some weirdness, though. Some very strange ways of uncovering the aliens. Just on the edge. Uh, and then that second group not moving... ...was interesting. We ended up just retreating and making them come to us anyways, which I think worked out. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Okay, good. Julia, now, I'm very excited because her aim is incredibly high at this level. Now, heavies only earn, like, a few aim per promotion. Uh, oh my god, this is kind of cool. Sprinter. And, see, she could become kind of our, like, hybrid rocketeer, um, support type. But the shredder rocket, man, so good. But you know, we have we have plenty of rockets, and her aim is so good. I think we're gonna give her the sprinter so that we have more of a field medic out there, like an actual medic that can help us a lot more. Seems crazy, I know, but surely now, uh, immunity to critical hits or suppression. <laughs> uh, that's kind of tough. I think I'm gonna take suppression. Even though it's shotgun suppression, 
I mean, it's, it's gotta work. And then Conine, he's got plus five defense per enemy in sight. I'll take that. That's not bad. He can get an additional 20 defense. I'm okay with it. And look at his will now, 90, 98. That is awesome. We really have no use for these alien captives without a containment facility, Commander. If you'd like to build one, perhaps we can finally begin the interrogation process. Um, I am working on that. Uh, we got our six we scientists, which is huge. Commander. But that's going to throw some people into panic, specifically the United States, so... Cover your ears. Access lift in one day, alien containment in three, foundry in two. Uh, let's check out our science situation here. Three days to beam weapons now. Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. This is really good. This is really quite good. And then we were gonna build the, uh... The genetics lab... Over here. I think. That was the plan. So let's get this access lift going. Access lift operational. Oh, these are so pricey. So pricey. Maybe I should just do it here. Although I am going to need to get to the steam eventually anyways. Let's grab this. I think with the amount of uh, satellites that we're going to need to launch. Let's check this out here. Um... So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what's going to happen is... If I build an uplink here... That's going to give us four satellites for the adjacency. And they need to build... I'm going to need to build one here. In order to get the adjacency bonus to get the three. So I'm going to have to build two uplinks. But that does prevent me from having to build three. And then I'll have thermo generator here. And then I'll have the gene modifications over here. Or I could just start excavating this way too. And I could get there quite a bit sooner. I'm not going to build another workshop, I don't think. So maybe I'll do that. Let's sell a few things. By a few things, I mean lots of Illyrium. And then uh, we'll build... We'll start uh, excavating this as well. Foundry done in one day. I'm probably going to sell some stuff to make that worthwhile. Hopefully we can get some beam weapons going. Okay, that works for me. So Foundry, let's check this out and see what upgrades we would want. Improved pistol, probably a good idea. The scope, probably a great idea. And tactile rigging is also pretty beautiful. Enabling a second item. So we would need 137 credits to make that happen. I do have a lot of flight computers right now, so I'm going to sell two of those. And then we'll sell a couple of floater corpses. And that should be good. There we go. Let's grab tactical ringing. And oh, I'll send word bad to math. The foundry crews now. You can follow their progress remotely from the project cube in engineering. Really bad math. Actually... There we go. We'll grab the scope upgrade. Seven days. And then I might even want to take improved pistol. It's 37. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. And actually, because we're going to be getting exalt missions eventually, uh, with and we're going to be putting uh, our pistol guy in there, we probably should make this happen. Uh, 
Whoops. So let's get this as well. I the the heavy weapons platform, I honestly I don't find the value in a lot of people do, but I just prefer to have soldiers on the battlefield. I don't know what it is, it's just I know these guys are kind of like you could send them out there, they can die, it's not a big deal, but uh I just find a soldier so much more versatile. We're and I know people always suggest that I should build busy. some shivs, I'll but let them know you've got another project ready for production. I don't know. For me, I'm 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 pretty comfortable not taking shivs. And now we're really going to start focusing on uh, capturing aliens. Alien containment facility online. We've already gotten a couple of uh, weapons out of the deal, which is good. Let's see here. We can excavate, and then we're going to build the gene lab here, we said. And then work towards thermo here, satellite, satellite, and then carry on from that situation. Alright. Beam weapons, that is huge. Laser pistol, laser rifle, inv improved pistol 2. Okay. Now, we do have heavies uh, that can't use this. We do have a mech that can't use this. So, we would need laser rifles for a few people. It's probably worth going to Seekers because we have tactical rigging now and we could get the respirators, uh, which provide some additional defense. That might not be bad. It's only three days. We could go to precision lasers. It takes a while. Let's actually do the Seeker autopsy. Despite its physical appearance, this machine doesn't seem to be made up of any organic components. Its surface has an unusual metallic composition that somehow interacts with the vapors it releases for concealment. So that'll be out in three days. Let's do some math here, figure out how much money we need to spend on weaponry. Uh, Pistol-wise, we probably should have at least three, maybe four. So that would be, let's say, 24 credits. And then we would need three rifles, so that would be 51 credits. So 51 and 24 would be 75. And then, what else did we say? Oh, and then the upgrade here. 75 and then so we need 150 credits. I don't know if we can quite afford that. I could sell another flight computer and then maybe just dump the Illyrium again. We could sell a couple of these. Let's just dump all of our Illyrium for now. Seems crazy. Alien alloys we could probably afford to get rid of a little bit. We really need weapon fragments right now. That's what we're short on. And I really should consider uh, not blowing things up as much just for that specific reason. Uh, let's see here. Things are relatively quiet for the moment. Guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. Alright. So let's buy our necessary requisitions here. Let's buy three of these. It's 30 alloys. We're gonna buy four of these. We are going to upgrade to improve pistol two. That'll be done in seven days. I'll make sure production begins immediately. And it's this this whole campaign is built on like secondhand usage of equipment. Everything is everything that's come to us is because we've been selling everything that comes in. I've never had to sell so aggressively. I'm even selling maybe a little bit too aggressively right now, uh, but it's been working out for us. So I'm hoping that that continues. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. 
All right. Now, it's a choice here between getting a support captain, which would be pretty cool, uh, or some engineers. I think when the month flips, we'll probably have enough en engineers. We have 28. We're going to need 30. So when the month flips over, we'll have enough. So maybe I maybe I want to take the scientists again, but panic wise, it's probably not the best to take the scientists. It's China. Yeah. Do we take the support? We already have really strong troops, that's the thing. I mean, either way, the other two places are gonna go to panic levels, so it doesn't matter which one we take from a panic situation, it's just a matter of what we want. And I think, because we're not able to get South America, I, th I think getting as many scientists as possible without building um, a laboratory would be great. So, I'm actually gonna go to China and go for the scientists. That'll speed up our research significantly. Uh, the tactical rigging isn't done, so these guys can only carry one additional item. But, uh, let's see. I'm pretty comfortable with this crew, I think. Just like, just like the crew that was out last time. Let's keep her in for, obviously, her ability. I almost want to change... You know what, I'm gonna change her, uh, her color. So that we know she's different. Like, she is a heavy, sure, but she's also <laughs> our only real support right now. Just the way things are kind of working out. And she can definitely aim. So, I am okay with her taking the med kits. And then we're going to equip our laser pistol here. And he's actually dealing out extra damage now, which is nice. Uh, with his pistol, I believe. Yeah, gunslinger. And then, we'll leave Dubois, because he's already maxed out. I could bring out maybe one of these other guys. Let's bring out Gaston. He's probably getting a little bit jealous of his brother. He's a support with Scaredy Cat and a Smoke Grenade. Take a laser rifle, laser pistol, and... Oh god, your aim is horrendous right now. My god. Well, let's let's try and improve you, shall we? I am gonna actually switch out to a laser rifle now with Shirley, laser pistol, and then the med kit still. And then we've got Zhang, so I think this is pretty good. This will be the squad that we take out, trying to get uh, a few more scientists even. And we'll see you guys next time. I think things are coming together. Oh, actually, no, wait a second. Uh, we do need to capture an alien now because we have the containment facility. So let's just reconsider things a little bit here. Um, maybe I make that Dubois' like primary job because his aim is so bad. Even the plus 10 is still bad. I think we're actually gonna do that. You you take the arc thrower and you're just gonna your focus is capturing an alien for us. We're gonna get you in close, hopefully, and do things that way. Alright, cool. Wish me luck. We're really gonna try to capture an alien now so we can start doing uh interrogations and uh we'll get the additional scientists so that the interrogations go a little bit quicker. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again, and looking forward to it. Bye.